Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and had a lovely week and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it is your first time here, welcome to my channel. A very easy game to play, six round pub quiz. I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go along. But if you would like to keep track of your score, as many people do, probably get yourself a pen and paper or an iPad uh, just to jot it down, makes it a lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was uh, at our local pub quiz, what did myself and my team score? And we got 56. Uh, incredible. Though I wasn't with my usual team this week, I did jump in with another team as my lots couldn't make it. And uh, yeah, we just clicked really well. So it was, it was a lot of fun. And we still only finished second, which was a, a bit disappointing. Anyway, so we'll see how that tiebreaker answer affected the uh, last week's leaderboard. So these are all the single players, everybody who finished between first and 10th. Well done to you all, some really good scores on there. In third place was Louise with 65. Well done, Louise. Second place was Dion with a brilliant 66. Well done, Dion. And top spot was Graham, also with 66, but just pipping Dion on the tiebreaker. So well done, Graham. And a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. So we'll look at the teams. These are all the teams, everyone from first to 10th. And uh, yeah, some cracking, cracking scores again. There always is uh, with the team. So well done to everybody. Uh, third place is Team Golden Wolf. Well done to you. Second place, Holly and Jason. Fantastic. Well done to you too. And top spot is Team Jonesbridge. Well done to you all. Very, very impressive. And a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. So moving on with this week's quiz, there are six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round is called the any two round. Round four is the connection round. Round five is an Oscars round. And the final round is a general knowledge round. So I'll give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As, all, as always, I hope you enjoy and best of luck. So round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures, famous people, places, etc. And you have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, what is the name of this torture device? A bit gruesome, sorry. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? Number five, name the toy. Number six, what is the name of this cruise ship? Quite a tough question. It is the world's largest cruise ship. Number seven, uh, who is this former wrestler? Number eight is the national flag of which country? Number nine, name the animal. And the last one, number 10, what is this a close up of?
Round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one. All five members of the Spice Girls were born in which decade? And number two. Twin brothers Jonathan and Drew Scott star in a TV show in which they renovate what? And number three. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting in the evening come. Watching the ships roll in, then watch them roll away again. Are the opening lyrics to which song? That's the post. <laughs> number four. Dynaco is the name of a fictional oil company and gas station that appears in which animated film? Number five. Nick, Joe and Kevin are the names of three brothers that formed which band in 2005? Number six, the Muppets character Animal plays which musical instrument? And number seven, which British sitcom had the episodes titled Kicking Bishop Brenham Up the Arse, Entertaining Father Stone and Speed 3? Number eight, which 1997 film is about six unemployed steel workers who form a male strip tease act? Number nine, All By Myself and Hungry Eyes were hit songs for which singer who sadly died this week? And the last one in this round. What colour is the letter S on Superman's chest? Red or yellow? And if you're a part of the team, let the arguments commence. So that's the end of the first two rounds. We will now go through the answers and round three and four will start immediately after. The answers for round one, this TV or movie star is Hugh Jackman. Number two from the world of music is Cindy Lauper. Number three, the torture device. Oh, horrific. It is an Iron Maiden. And number four, who's this a picture of from when they were young? Lots of clues in the picture. That is a young Ronnie O'Sullivan. Number five, the toy. Incredibly popular, though I never had one. It is a Tamagotchi. Number six, real tough one. It's uh, the name of the cruise ship. It's called the Icon of the Sea. So really well done if you got that one. Or very lucky if you've been on it. Number seven, the former wrestler is Macho Man Randy Savage. Number eight is the national flag of the Netherlands. And number nine, the animal, it's a great picture. That is a mud skipper. And the last one, number 10, the close up. It is a, it's the, a washing machine drum, sorry. If you just put washing machine or something similar, give yourself the point.
So the answers for round two, number one, all five members of the Spice Girls were born in which decade? That was in 1970s. Number two, twin brothers Jonathan and Drew Scott star on a TV show in which they renovate houses. And number three are the opening lyrics to the song Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. And number four, Dynaco is the name of a fictional oil and gas um, oil company and gas station in the film Cars. And number five, Nick, Joe and Kevin are the names of three brothers that form the band The Jonas Brothers. Number six, the Muppets character Animal plays which musical instrument? He plays the drums. Number seven, <laughs> which British sitcom and episodes titled Kicking Bishop Brendan Up the Arse, Entertaining Father Stone and Speed 3, that is of course Father Ted. Uh, Speed 3, my personal favourite on the uh, milk float. Number eight, which 1997 film is, is about six unemployed steel workers who form a male strip tease act, that is The Four Monty. And number nine, All By Myself and Hungry Eyes were hit songs for which singer who sadly died this week. They were by Eric Carmen. Which leaves the last one. What colour is the letter S on Superman's chest? There might be a few I told you so's here. The answer is red. Round three is called the any two round. So this is a round where there are two points available per question. So 20 points up for grabs the way that it works. You will see a question in the middle of your screen that has several possible answers. All you need to do is give me two correct answers for two points. If you only manage to give me one correct answer, you'll get one point. So for example, say it said, uh, name any two colors of the rainbow. At the top of the question also says how many possible answers there are, so seven possible answers. Uh, if you give me two colors, you'll get two points, one color, uh, one point. I'm sure that makes sense. Now I've given you 23 seconds of each question, a little bit longer than usual, uh, just because I know that some of you will get some of them straight away and others, other questions will require a little bit more thinking. So everybody's different. So um, yeah, I think 23 seconds is fair. And also this particular round took an awful lot of research to do for some of the questions. So if I have made a mistake, does happen occasionally, um, and you think you've got the right answer, just have a look. And if you have got the right answer and I have made a mistake, give yourself the point and then make sure you give me some flack in the comments. I never mind those. Anyway, uh, I do hope you enjoy the rounds and best of luck. So number one, out of a possible eight, name any two bones in the human body with exactly five letters. Now skull and spine do not count as they are made up of lots of smaller bones. Number two, out of a possible 10, name any two wrestlers who have won the Royal Rumble more than once. Number three, out of a possible four, excluding the UK and USA, name any two countries that have hosted the Summer Olympic Games more than once. Number four, out of a possible five, Excluding handheld only consoles, name any two video game consoles that have sold over 100 million units worldwide. And number five. Out of a possible six, name any two countries as recognised by the UN that display the image of a sword, spear or trident on their national flag. Sorry for the background noises, my little boy uh, playing pirates I believe. Number six. 
out of a possible five, name any two artists who have featured with Ed Sheeran on any of his 14 UK number one songs. And number seven, as of a possible three, name any two people that have been married to Angelina Jolie. Number eight, out of a possible five, Name any two female Prime Ministers or former female Prime Ministers of New Zealand, Canada or Australia. Number nine. Out of a possible six, name any two countries as recognised by the UN that used the pound as their currency. And that's not the British pound, it's just their currency is called the pound. And the last one, number 10, out of a possible 10, name any two YouTube, cha YouTube channels with 100 million or more subscribers. So round four is the connections round. For those of you who haven't played before, the way that it works, there are four questions. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give. And then something links the answers to those four questions. Now, this is the important part. It might not be the whole of the answer that is a connection. It could just be part of the answer. So bear that in mind when you're trying to find the connection. So at the end of the four questions, you'll have around 25 seconds to try and find that connection. And if you manage to do so, you'll get another point. So there are five points available in total. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and good luck finding that connection. So the answers are round three, number one, any two bones in the human body with exactly five letters. So if you said any two from the hyoid, the voma, the incus, or the anvil, the femur, the tibia, the malar, the talus, or the ankle, or, and the pubis, um, give yourself the points. So number two, any two wrestlers who have won the Royal Rumble more than once. So any two from Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, Edge, Cody Rose, and Brock Lesnar. Number three, 
So excluding the UK and the US, any two countries have hosted the Summer Olympic Games more than once. So any two from Australia, France, Greece and Japan. Number four, excluding handheld only consoles, name any two video game consoles that have sold over 100 million units. So any two from PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Wii, you have the points. Number five, any two countries that display the image of a sword, spear or trident on their national flag. This was a tricky one. So any two from Barbados, Eswatini or the Kingdom of Eswatini, Kenya, Saudi Arabia, Guatemala or Oman. And really well done if you got uh, two points on that one. Number six. So from a possible five, any two artists who have featured with Ed Sheeran on any of his 14 UK number ones. So any two from Elton John, Justin Bieber, Khalid or Khalid, I don't know who that is, Stormzy or Beyonce. Number seven, any two people have been married to Angelina Jolie. The lucky three are Johnny Lee Mia, Mia? Johnny Lee Miller, Billy Bob Thornton and Brad Pitt. So any two from there. And number eight, any two former female prime ministers of New Zealand, Canada or Australia. So from New Zealand first, uh, Jenny Shipley, Helen Clark and Jacinda Ardern. Uh, from Canada is King Campbell and Australia is Julia Gillard. Number nine, any two countries that use the pound as their currency. So any two from Egypt, Lebanon, South Sudan, Sudan, Syria, and I hope everyone said that the UK. And the last one, number 10, any two YouTube channels with 100 million or more subscribers. So any two from T-Series, Mr. Beast, Coco Melon, Set India, which is Sony Entertainment India, uh, Kids Diana Show, Vlad and Nikki, Like Nasty, I think, uh, PewDiePie, Z Music Company or WWE. So really well done if you got most of those. So the answers for the connections round number one. What is the hardest naturally occurring substance found on earth? That is diamond. Number two, Your Love was a 1985 hit song for which band? The band was The Outfields. Number three, Holden Coalfield is a character in which book by J.D. Salinger? That is The Catcher in the Rye. And the last one, number four, what seven letter word is also the name for a jug? It is a picture. So what connects a diamond outfield catcher and pitcher? It is of course baseball. So very well done if you got that connection. So that's the end of round four. I hope round three wasn't too tricky and you managed to find that connection. Now this is a point in the quiz. I ask if you are enjoying it, please just take 10 seconds out to click that like button. So many of you do so and it makes a massive difference to how my video is promoted. So thank you to everybody who, who does that on a regular basis. But I say if you are enjoying it, please just click that button. Uh, it would be very much appreciated. It will now go into rounds five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there will be a tie break at the end. So watch out for that. Round five is the Oscars round. It's exactly as it sounds in the title. It's 10 questions all about the Oscars. Uh, past and present. Some are multiple choice. Some are not. Best of luck, everybody.
Round six, the final round is general knowledge. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, Davos, Le Trois Valets and Whistler are famous for which activity? Number two, the Kaaba is a holy shrine in which religion? Number three, electrical current is measure, measured sorry, using what device? Number four, what ingredient gives pesto its green colour? Number five, in Greek mythology, what creatures form the hair of Medusa? And if you can hear any funny noises, that's not coming from me, that's someone drilling next door in the garden. Number six, what word can come after life, fishing and speed? Number seven, the Parthenon marbles or the Elgin marbles are controversially located in what museum? Number eight, what event was held in 1896 after a hiatus of approximately 1500 years? Number nine, which US state grows the most potatoes every year? Is it Idaho or Oregon? Which leaves number 10. What is the only country in the world that has all five vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, occurring exactly once in its name? A real tricky one. You might need to pause this one. Give yourself a bit longer if you need to. The answers round five, number one. The big five at the Oscars are Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress and Best Screenplay. Number two, Emma Stone won her second Best, Best Actress Oscar last week. With which film did she win her first? That was La La Land. Number three, how tall is an Oscar? It is 13 and a half inches. Number four, who is the only person named Oscar to win an Oscar? That is Oscar Hammerstein II. Don't worry if you didn't put the second. Number five, who won Best Supporting Actor at this year's uh, Oscars? It was Robert Downey Jr. Number six, who has won more Oscars than anyone else in history? That is Walt Disney. Number seven, Clint Eastwood has won two awards for Best Director. Name either of the films that he won them for. So if you said Million Dollar Baby or Unforgiven, give yourself a point. Number eight, Catherine Hepburn is the only actress to win four Academy Awards. Which of the following have won three? Many people have won three, actually. But there it is, Daniel Day-Lewis. Number nine, which song from the film Barbie did Ryan Gosling sing at this year's Academy Awards? It is I'm Just Ken. Uh, the other two were just made up. And the last one, number ten. Three films hold the record of winning the most Academy Awards with 11 each. Name any two of them. So if you said any two from The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Titanic and Ben-Hur, give yourself the point. And a well done. So the answers for round six. Number one, Davos, Le Trois Valets and Whistler are famous for which activity? That is skiers. So you put skiing, snowboarding, something similar. 
uh, give yourself the points. Number two, the Kaaba is a holy shrine in which religion is a holy shrine in which religion that is Islam. Number three, electrical current is measured using what device? That is an ammeter. Number four, what ingredient gives pesto its green colour? Basil. Number five, in Greek mythology, what creatures formed the hair of Medusa? Snakes. Number six, what word can come after life, fishing and speeds? Boat. Number seven, the Parthenon marbles or the Elgin marbles are controversially located in the British Museum. Number eight, what event was held in 1896 after a hiatus of 1500 years that was the Olympic Games? Number nine, which US state grows the most potatoes every year? Idaho. Which leads the last one, number 10, a real tough one. I hope you all gave yourselves a bit of extra time for this one. What is the only country in the world that has all five vowels occurring exactly only once in its name? Mozambique. So if you didn't know that before and you managed to figure it out, very well done to you. So now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember, when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It nearly always makes a difference. So the question this week, a little bit boring. How many rice cakes are in this packet? My little boy loves them. I'm just about to open it and find out. So how many rice cakes are in this individual packet? Good luck with your guess. So that's the end of the quiz. A huge thank you to everybody who played. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a lovely rest of the weekend or week, whatever it is you are doing. I hope you have a lot of fun. So I'll finish off the quiz by doing some shout outs. Now I say some shout outs. Again, there is a lot to do. So as the channel grows, I might need to change something about these shout outs. But um, I get a lot of really good positive feedback from the people who receive them. So I do want to continue to do them. I might just need to narrow the field of what I do. Anyway, I'd like to begin by wishing Erin a very happy 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Erin. Happy 20th birthday to Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. Happy 26th birthday to Paul from Falkirk. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy birthday to Ophelia. Happy birthday, Ophelia. Happy first birthday to Benji. Happy birthday, Benji. You don't know what I'm saying, but I hope you have a lovely day. Happy 33rd birthday to Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday to Debbie. Happy birthday to you, Debbie. A happy birthday to Michaela. Happy birthday, Michaela. Happy 22nd birthday to James Styans. Happy birthday, James. Have a great weekend. Happy 11th birthday to Cooper Callis. Happy birthday, Cooper. Hope you have a lovely weekend and lots and lots of cool gifts. A happy belated birthday to Harry Reg. Happy birthday, happy belated birthday, Harry. Now, happy belated birthday to Izzy and Duncan. Um, happy belated birthday to you both. And last week's books round, uh, Izzy, was for you, actually. Your mum asked if I could do something for you as a birthday present. So I forgot to mention it in last week's quiz, but that was your birthday present from me. So if you did watch it, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, I'd like to say, uh, this is a message, actually. A happy 67th birthday to my beautiful husband, Nigel. Lots of love from your wife, Helga, and son, Theodore. What a lovely message. Hope you have a great birthday, Nigel. I also want to say hello to Sarah, Andy, and Kieran. Hello to you three. A big hello to Paige, Leah, Shay, and Grace. Hello to you four. Uh, hello to Laura and Keenan. Hello to you both. Uh, hello to Chrissy Bob Beans. I don't know what it is. I do like that name, but a big hello to you, Chrissy. Uh, also, I'd like to send best wishes to Kevin Cully. I wish you all the best. I know your, your dog Lola's uh, been unwell recently, so I hope you're holding up okay. And best of luck with Lola's recovery. Also, congratulations to Lottie Fisher for passing her bus driving test. Uh, quite a feat. Uh, so well done to you, Lottie. And I'd like to say a big congratulations to Kim and Tim on their 17th wedding, wedding anniversary. Quite amazing. I hope you have a lovely weekend celebrating. Yeah, congratulations to you both. And the last one, a big congratulations to Laurie and John on their 25th wedding anniversary. So silver anniversary, a uh, big occasion. Again to you, I hope you're having a great weekend, whatever you're doing. So that's the end of the shout outs. One more time from me, a big thank you to everybody who played and see you next week.